This is my uh, StarCraft pop-up trailer that I did a video a while back. This is my 1701. This really pertains to any uh, pop-up trailer that has the round type uh, stanchions for their canopy. Uh, this this was damaged right, right here uh, due to wind and uh, it was jammed in in order to put it put back. The problem I'm having is getting it out and uh, also what I did is uh, on this side over here okay I'm going to try and stay out of the sun all right and it's up a little bit I actually took this one out to uh, th th this is parts off of the uh, an old canopy um, um, not, not one of these kind of canopies uh, one of those little tent type canopies and if you look at this this fits in there pretty pretty good all right now uh, the the downfall is I don't think it's as tight as this one but once we get it in it looks like there's enough play so, so the, it's really, really close. There might be more play on this. So um, my goal is to make it to, is to replace. This is the good one, all right. And you can see on the on the ends. This is the locking mechanism. It's kind of riveted in, okay. And this side is the pin part that actually goes onto the camper. Uh, that's also riveted in. What I'm going to have to do on the old one is probably cut those off, cut off the tubing to get to that, so I could put it into this one. Hopefully, it's going to fit. Uh, so that's the goal of this video. Uh, for, first thing is though, is I have to uh, find a way to get this rod out without damaging this one. So that's my goal right now. So I'm going to work on that. Once I get it out, I'll bring you back. Well, with my wife's help, it uh, worked out. Holding this side, we pulled this tube all the way out. She, uh, she held it with a pair of gloves. And I uh, grabbed this part with uh, um, channel locks and turn it because I'm not too worried about damaging this. This is the dent right here that caused the whole problem. And uh, so now what I have to do is uh, I'm probably going to end up sawing off with a hacksaw or something both ends and trying to get get the pieces off of this and then figuring out how I'm going to put it on that other piece. So, um, and by, by the way, that other, the other stuff, let me show you real quick. And, and I, uh, the noise you hear is, uh, I, I'm on a tripod, so if you're hearing me adjust it. That's out of an old gazebo. And uh, taking the back, to, that's the thin, thin uh, part, pieces, like what's on the, the inside, like these type of poles, right here. Like these type of poles, and then uh, these these kind of poles, you need a different kind of gazebo if you're going to use those. And I'm going to uh, take next video. I'll be taking the backyard and show you another set of pipes. So I'm not a, in any shape or form a pack rat, but you know when you can use uh, old uh, pieces of gazebos uh, to build up something else, uh, the the material comes in handy. So it, if your gazebo, your old gazebo uh, fabric breaks, uh, rips or whatever, and you decide to buy another one, hang on to the pieces, uh, put them somewhere uh, that you might be able to use them later on. Okay, back to the repair of the awning. Okay, now before I do any, any kind of uh, cutting of this pipe, I'm going to find a part, of, part of the gazebo pipe and cut it to the exact length. Okay, it's shiny part to the shiny part. I'm going to cut cut the new piece, okay, before I do any cutting of this to get the to get the ends off. And all we can do is right now is pray that uh, these fittings on the ends are actually going to fit in. And uh, I'm going to have to file that down because that's pretty sharp. Whatever caught this thing, I don't know what, what really happened, but that is really sharp. And that's the ball that goes into um, the mounting um, the mounting part right there. Now here's what I did. I used a uh, Dremel tool and I cut the ends off, um, both ends of this, uh, the old pole. Cut these guys off and they're crimped on pretty good. So I'm going to have to probably cut alongside on both sides to get it off of there without cutting the, the part on the inside. And I already searched for these to see if I can get just a pole and you can't order just the pole. You have to order the whole thing. So I think uh, it's going to be important to, to be careful about uh, damaging the inside of this, especially on this one because this is what actually locks it. 
locks it into place. So uh, yeah, I'm going to cut along both sides, take it off like an eggshell, and then put it inside this one and use some, some kind of adhesive to hold it in there. Um, there's Gorilla Glue and different kind of glues that can uh, tolerate the temperature. Maybe uh, rubber cement or something like that to actually keep it inside this. And I don't want to crimp down. Uh, I would take a nail or anything like that. So just uh, you know, just um, be careful about that. So I, I'll I'll show you what's going on. What I'm going to do. Let me show you the one thing I did do is I, I marked off the new the new pole uh, before cutting these tips off. All right, it made just a little bit longer, and it's okay that it's a little bit longer. So that's going to be uh, the new pole, pole that used to be uh, part of the gazebo. And I'm going to recycle it to take the place of the uh, old pole. So it um, should be interesting, especially if, uh, if the two sides actually uh, match, if that um, piece from the inside of that actually fits in there okay. What I did is I took a Dremel tool the cutting, just the same thing I used on cutting the, the pipes apart, and I went up, uh, started this way, worked my way back. Now you will clip a little bit of the rubber, all right, but that's fine. Don't worry about that. You don't want to hit too much of the bottom. And then um, I don't have a pair of needle nose or a pair of pliers. Uh, to do, you know, who knows what part of the family takes that. But uh, all you have to do is one side and then pry this thing back and keep prying it off, and it comes right off. So you want to do that with both sides. Do that with both sides. Uh, have the glove on when you're doing the Dremel tool because you, you don't want all the uh, metal um, stuff hidden in your hands. Now this this one is the new one. I have not tried this yet, so this is be a, you and I will see if this fits. It's going to go in, and it's a tight fit. Oh, this is sweet. Tap that thing in there. Tap that in there, and I probably won't need too much glove. I mean glue. <laughs> But I'll probably put some on there anyway. Um, yeah, look at that. Is that a perfect fit? Oh my goodness, this is going to be great. And, and um, let's see if I can get it back out. Yeah, wiggle it, wiggle it around to get it back out. So do the same thing to this one. All right, you're going to um, start up here between the two uh, pits or whatever they use to crimp this thing down. And you're going to go right down to the end and take a pair of pliers or something, peel it back, just like I did with that one, and we'll have this one too. I'm going to show, show you something uh, while I'm doing this, all right? Um, you will clip a little bit of the top. Definitely have to wear gloves. Even with the gloves, it is very hot. The friction in here is going to make some noise now. Okay, I don't know if you could see it at all, but inside it looks like there's some black. And if we uh, actually uh, over here, we might see some sunlight. But uh, there's still a little bit of silver from the shield or uh, the tube right there. So that's why we're going to hit some of the uh, the rubber in doing this. Okay, and I think I might have cleared it. So now just uh, cutting down the rest of the way. Okay, that's a done deal. So, um, relatively easy to do. I don't know if I actually got it all the way to the top. So we're going to try and pry this thing. See, it's coming apart already. See, it's, it's widening nicely. So uh, the thing is to actually back this off. And because the top here is so flexible, it's actually harder to do. So I might actually have to two, and these are a pair of dikes I'm already cutting into it because of the pressure I'm putting on it. So um, I have to get a screwdriver, which I'll do right now. I'll come right back. All right, I, got a, I have a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to stick it in there and turn it. And there it is. All right, the metal is still very warm. Set that down, and we are in business. There's the other piece, and it should fit. There's no difference in the sizes, the sides. And it's going to go right in. And bingo, look at that just as advertised. So now, now it's time to glue it in, let it set, and, uh, and go ahead. i got to figure out what kind of glue I'm going to use on that. 
but it looks really good, really promising. Now I have elected to use what's called liquid nail. Um, liquid nails, only because uh, the package says so much. I'm going to put it on the inside of the tube. And just coat, the, coat it. It might drip inside all the way down, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. I don't want it to drip too far, so I'm going to keep it level. And I'm going to slide one of these pieces in there. All right, and then we're going to let that set. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just coat the inside. And slide this one in. Remember, it's the uh, the big guy is on the outside. The big uh, knot or thing is on the outside. This is the only side that will actually fit in. So just jam them in there. Don't worry about the excess. We can wipe that off or shave it off later on. And we're going to let this sit for at least overnight. Okay, and then we'll put it on the trailer and see what happens. Now, Okay, it's been uh, not quite 24 hours, but long enough you can tell it's, uh, it's dry. This is uh, the excess that I said we could just uh, peel off, and that's what we're going to do now. Just get all the excess around. We'll check this side too. Make sure there's no excess stuff. Get a good, good tug on these. These are not coming out anytime soon. Okay, um, I, I'm, I actually did a little tug of war with them. So now the key thing is, will these actually fit in this? And I think it will because uh, this is actually bigger than this. So here we go, the final test. Put it all the way in and turn it. It's locked. Okay, and to top that off, you see in the video if it's seeing it. Okay, we have our channel here that it actually fits down inside. So I think uh, I think we've actually fixed the whole thing. And quite frankly. They both look about the same, just a different color. So hopefully you liked the video. Um, it's a very cheap way to fix uh, the canopy of a pop-up trailer, all right, or any other device that might have the same kind of same kind of tubing. All right. So subscribe if you want. Share if you want. Take care. Bye.